Hello friends, hello everyone, I hope you are doing just fine. I haven't played Life is Strange in two weeks. Can you realize that? I mean, this is crazy. I need to get my shit back together. Um, so last time we played, we learned that uh, the reason they didn't delay uh, the explosion or cancel the explosion is because they needed the noise of the explosion to hide something shady they were doing doing somewhere else basically and we flirted with uh steph because steph deserves our love but then we had a little bit of a fight uh because we took charlotte's anger uh which i think was a bad idea but i'm not the only one who had that bad idea so at least i'm not alone let's keep going Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lace Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. We better give Steph a rose to apologize and to tell her we love her. I am in love with this outfit. You know me, I'm gonna try to figure out if we can change her outfit, her outfit, but I'm in love with this one. She's drop-dead gorgeous. Okay, let's look around. Happy Spring Festival, Gabe. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after-festival snack. Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. One day I'll organize this stuff in here. Yeah. This one ornament will really bring my tree together. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? Ah, string lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places subreddit. That's it? Okay. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Huh. Shut up. You first. They were cute together. Leaky I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. <laughs> okay. Something here, the pants. Don't worry. I'll come back to you. <laughs> this is the first time we see her in a skirt. That's when did true. I become such a fucking monster? Whoa. What was that? I can still feel some of Charlotte's anger from before? Oof. This is not gonna end well. Man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't read that. Maybe 
he's a little too young, you know, but I'm not very, like, I'm not one to talk. I've played uh, very hardcore video games uh, sooner than I should have. I've got a lot riding on you, small. Oh, shit. I, I always cut okay. her when she talks. Time to head downstairs. Gabe's notes. I'm about ready to start my own list. Yeah, we read that already. Okay. Uh, we've got text messages. Okay. We are live. Can we give Steph a flower uh, when, the, when she's live? I like that idea. Okay, so, Eleanor. Okay. Are you joining us this evening, dear? Yes, this is one party I'm willing to brave. Ha! We'll make it as painless as possible. She's cute. Ethan. Love was amazing. Okay, I think I already read that. Enjoy the spring festival. I wish I could be there, but at least I'm getting crazy good work done on my next Thaynor comic. You know what? As a writer, I understand that. You ditch your party so you can work on your heart. On your art. I like that. Okay? We are not antisocial. On antisocial. I think that's how you say it. Um, we are just hard workers. And also, I think Ethan is as it is at his dad's. So, yeah. Sweet. What's happening in these issues? Issue. No spoilers. But Thana find the gate to the underworld and fight the king of demons. Oh, snap. That actually seems like a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page, lol. <laughs> LOL. That's the first page. Stefan Ryan. Okay, guys are killing me. The plan is a go. Destroy, destroy, figure it out. So can blast the night of the accident. Typhon, old mine was involved. They are trying to hide something. Holy shit. Steph and I want to hear everything. We're at the stage. Meet us when you're ready. Okay. Okay. Shoo shoo! Will you be my date to the festival, Shoo Shoo? Shoo Shoo would say yes. Okay, that outfit is cool, but what other option do we have? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Huh, this one or this one? No, I prefer this one. Okay. So she she made a good choice first. Okay. Look. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Oh, you brought us a letter? Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better, and we have a lot of plans for the summer. He said we could go camp, we could go camping, and make ultra s'mores, s'mores, but with ice cream on top. I've never hated s'more, never ate s'mores, but it looks yummy. Secret family recipe. The LARP was amazing. You are really good. You are a really good bard, and I hope we can do it again soon. I already have more idea to fill out your backstories. Banshees! Oh, I love Banshees. Thanks, Alex. Ethan. I don't know if this is great timing or what, but I'm actually... I, I just sent to uh, better readers a novel about Banshees. I mean, for, for those who don't know uh, what better reading is... Um, I wrote a novel, a fantasy, a queer fantasy novel about a banshee, and now I send it to some other writers so they can read it and tell me what's wrong uh, with the plot, what's wrong with my characters, uh, if we understand the plot correctly and everything. And apparently, it seems like I have a lot of work to do. But I hope I will be able to work on it soon and send it to an editing house before the end of the year. That's it. That was a little bit of my of my life right now. I'm working on several novels and this one is on uh, its way to being better read. Um, I should his... really head down to the park. Okay, but I can't go up there. Okay, the snowboard. I didn't read about the snowboard. Okay. Anyway. So is this thing just decoration or am I supposed to use it? You could use it. I mean, I would not, but you could. Have fun. Oh, my bard hat. We should wear it. All when the bard will ride again. We should wear it. All right, let's go. Test, test. Check, check. Check. 
Holy shit, you own a skirt? I just laughed. Hey, Sorry. guys. I cut the mic, but. Happy first spring fest. She doesn't Thanks. seem mad at us. I need to apologize to you guys. What happened in the apartment? Something really messed me up. Uh, hearing Gabe. Hearing Gabe's voice. I wasn't ready for that. I thought I was, but uh, it's the same old story. I lose control and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. If anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Aww. Ever since we've met, you've been there for me. And then when you're the one struggling, I bail. Not cool. I'm really sorry. I agree. Steph was the one uh, that was supposed to apologize. Um, but it's good that we did. Uh, I owe you a trophy. It's totally fine. But I still owe you a new trophy. Let's play for it. Okay, kiss now. Not okay. to spoil the moment, but... Typhon blew up their own mind. Why? <laughs> I don't know yet. I love this little animation. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. By the way, I think Pike... I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. I'm scared Once that... Once he sees what's on that stick, it's Pike. over for Typhon. Hence, the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Yeah. I better. Who's playing? Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. It better be Steph. It better be her. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Oh, I have such a huge crush. She's, when it's so ready? Pretty. she's so pretty. Yeah, I was saying she's gonna talk, right? If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Uh-uh. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Steph is on the list. I was gonna say, um, Steph is so cute. I love her. She's so pretty. I want to kiss her. And also, I think that, um, I don't know. I feel like something's shady with Spike. I think he's not on our side. Okay, I got several. Ooh, Diane. Two-faced bitch. Ooh, she called her a two-faced bitch? Okay. Hi, Alex. Wanted to wish you a wonderful first spring festival. Unfortunately, I have to work th through it this year. But I really appreciate our conversation earlier today. It was great getting to know you better. Thanks, Diane. The feeling is mutual. Um, Yeah, I don't know what I think about being Diane. Because I feel like she didn't have much choice yeah. I stopped reading those <laughs> um, take a rose maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan to Steph yeah take one come on don't be shy Oh, and it's a pretty one too. It's a yellow one. I love yellow flowers. All right, we've got a rose. Two thirty-two, two thirty-three, two thirty-four. Is he counting the no. jelly beans? The red one was two thirty-four. Wait. Damn it! This is impossible, right? Oh, okay. That's why he's counting the jelly. I've never seen anyone so focused on a jelly bean jar. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Maybe I can help him somehow. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. 
Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. No! Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Oh, shit. Uh, 300. 300. Ish. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. Let's cheat our way. 300? What a nitwit. <laughs> Not even close. I was that far off? Maybe I should say something before he guesses wrong. Also, the hell is your problem, lady? <laughs> hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? Let's try the very big... I, I think it's I too think high. It's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. <laughs> I should read her again. Dear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes, your secret's mine. Hey friend, we've got it. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. <laughs> yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. Chrissy is gonna be one happy dog. What's going on with my phone? Wait. Best spring fest ever. <laughs> and so peace returned to the Jelly Bean Kingdom. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Yeah, I don't trust Pike. <laughs> okay. I was just to say that the someone guessed about the jelly bean. Oh, I can run. True, I forgot. There's so many things to read. Okay. I've got some time to kill. This show rules. It's, uh, it's something. Anyway, I'm Izzy. That's Steph. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. I should tell Mac that I heard the call. He deserves that much, at least. Yeah, true. Hello, Ryan. No, I'm not giving you a rose. Ryan's always been there for me. Should I give a rose to him? Nope. Hey, how's it coming? Oh, good. I'd say the chances of starting a fire are low to medium low. <laughs> I'm not giving you a rose. I really like you. You're very nice and all. I should tell Mac that I heard the call. Yeah, true. He deserves Is it that much at least. Are they having a date finally? If Steph or Ryan or Rose explore the festival. Yeah, okay. I feel like giving Steph the roses. I don't know. I'm gonna be right there in front of you. Should I not have worn cologne? No. Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Or maybe it's the total lack of saying anything. Crap. Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? Aww. Look at the hang of this one day. Or not. <laughs> it doesn't seem like we can help them, even though we have uh, seen their whole relationship being played out. I the radio station broadcast live from the park. Oh my right. god, there are so the many things to read! Happened last year. So then, where's the after party this Come year? On. After party? Come on. Young man like yourself, you must know what the haps is. Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. I'm gonna call into the night soon. My goodness, what is this town coming to? 
used to be that the spring festival wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in someone else's bed. Eleanor! Must have been pretty wild back in your day. My day? I'm talking about last year. <laughs> I love her. There's no graceful way to sample everything on this table. Is there? Can I eat? Hi. Huge ice luge. Ice luge. I don't know what that is. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. Okay. I don't know what that is. Um, are you okay, my she said no. God, I just hope Riley is doing all right. Oh no. What happened to Riley? No. I'm Eleanor's really worried about Riley. I wonder what's wrong. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Okay. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots. <laughs> Who's going first? Just kidding. <laughs> Are you really? Or am I? Yeah, I love her. <laughs> I better get going. Enjoy your night. You too. Did it change? Poor Riley, waiting for a bus all alone. But thank God she never found out about my condition. Riley went to the bus stop alone. I wonder why. Okay, can I find Riley? Okay, do I the can I bonfire looks super cozy. Can I talk to her? No, I can't talk to her again, but Oh, Mr. Lantern, I love what you've done with your bar. Okay. What else have I have a nice you know, I don't know if that's probably nice. around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk, boy. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Despite my occupation, Springfest is different from the Lantern. We all agree. But anyway, he comes racing out of the diner, <clears throat> bowled Sorry. over a couple of tables along the way. I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after him because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack. Belly flop. Ouch. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> so I jump in there after him. Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back to dry land and we called him an ambulance just to be sure. He was fine, though. So then I got to spend the rest of the night soaking wet, which doesn't bother me none. But everybody keeps offering me a bunch of goddamn towels. Next morning, he shows up at my door with a box of chocolates. Chocolates! God knows why he thought that was the right token of gratitude. But, in all fairness, I ate the whole damn box. <laughs> Best I ever had. Okay. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. It's been a hell of a month. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. I love when they're happy. Okay. <coughs> sorry. I'm sick. I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna call. Wow. This oh. is a beautiful model. Okay, I can cough it out. <coughs> All right. The festival bonfire looks super cozy. Okay, I got it. You want me to go there? I'm still checking a few things out. Oh, Carrie! Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? I want to pet the cat. <laughs> Display info. Wait. Okay, there's too much reading. I don't wanna. So you, I hope you pause the video, and you can make me a summary when I'm missing an information. The bonfire looks super cozy. Okay, okay. First, I'm gonna look at this. I get the feeling she's really enjoying herself. Uh, yeah, okay. that's what I wanted. This is awesome. Favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. Let's sit. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, I get it. That's it, we're done, you're not talking more? Okay. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I better head back. Okay, so we're done with exploring the festival. Talk to Ryan, give Steph or Ryan a rose. Where is Steph? So, there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Sets out to find her missing sister, who was abducted years ago by a guild of warlocks. Go on. Along the way, she picks up mercenaries, the kind she never expected to be friends with. Elf criminal, undead priest. Oh. They find the sister. The sister is now the high warlock of the guild. She's threatening the entire kingdom with her magical shit. And they gotta take her out. Right? I, I don't know, but what a dilemma. Fucking Shakespeare meets Tolkien. This is what I always should have been writing. Jesse, this is amazing. It sounds like your muse is finally back. Didn't need a muse. Just needed to get out of my own head long enough to remember who I am. Still talking about writing. I love it. Thank you, Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. Okay. Good luck with that, sign. Okay. Where is Steph? Because I the don't want to. can wait for now, but I should give it away before the music starts. Oh, it's not an emergency. Who's talking? Trust me, I'm fine. Typhon is just... not normal. Typhon is really. I made a mistake coming here. Get out while you can, dude. I have no idea where I am right now. Oh, can I go look for Riley or something? Grand opening tomorrow. Free gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening. Attendees. These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. 
I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right, Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already tonight? <laughs> nope. Stupid, so stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town, I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Best of luck. Gotta pull my shit together for okay. this grand opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. Can I talk to Riley somewhere? She's waiting for the bus. Where is the bus? I don't remember. I actually don't remember where I am right now. Wherever I go, games, real life, I can never find my way. Ever. I... Here, go back on the... Go, go back! No? Okay. Can't go there, or... So it's just, uh... Okay, can't go there. Someone's here, though. Are you serious right now? Okay. A boot? A fucking boot on my car? Okay. So I can't park where I normally park because we have to celebrate a bunch of fucking flowers. Hey, boot. Fuck you. You think you're making the world a better place? Think you're doing a service for the citizens? You're just a goddamn tool for the man. You're a cog in the machine, you metal fuck. All right, um, this guy is about to have a heart attack. Too bad I can't unlock doors with my emotions. One, two, three, I control me. <laughs> One, two, fuck, I don't control shit. Oof, sorry, man. We've all been there. All right, can't go further. Keep going. If anyone sees Riley, just scream and I'll hear you. Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. No one's here. Did I, did I miss something? Did I miss Riley? Okay. If I miss Riley, I'm gonna be pissed. If I learn at the end that I could talk to Riley and I did not, I'm gonna be very sad. There's someone there. Can I go here? Nope. No. Can I enter the flower shop? Oh, okay. A sign? Someone special, huh? Time to deliver. We are closed early this evening in celebration of the annual Spring Festival. Please visit our cart on the festival grounds and take a rose for someone special. Sincerely, Eleanor. Yes, I am looking for Riley and Steph. Okay, first them. I have a surprise for you. Good surprise or bad surprise? Surprise. I started a farm in Moondrop Ranch. Get out. I'm romancing Melody. The nurse? She's adorable! I'll be real with you right now. Game is sick. I love you. Hmm. Because he's playing a video game? I get it. I didn't expect that him playing my favorite game would be a turn on. But here we are. No, I get it. Excuse me. Looks pretty dead over there. Okay, so nothing here. All right. Excuse me. Wait, is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Finally! Okay. No, not you, okay? There was something here, I saw something, right? Odd, odd dog stickers. Okay. I don't get it. Okay. Riley! I should find Mac too, right? 
Where's Mac? She told me to find Mac. Riley. Here I am, just waiting at the bus stop. About to change my entire life. I've been there. Okay. There she is. Looks like she's packed and ready. You are, it's okay. Hey, Riley. Oh, hi, Alex. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Saying goodbye. Just out for a walk. You? Can't tell that woman anything. <laughs> <laughs> My bus comes tonight, and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. Uh, I get that. I'm really gonna miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. <laughs> I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Don't make me tell her. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret, but I feel like Riley would want to know. What should I do? Oh, you make it in a big reveal. You're making it... Okay, um... I am torn because it's Eleanor. Like, yes. Yes, Riley deserves to know. But we know why Alan Eleanor is not telling her. is because she wants her to live uh, her life. And by the way, Eleanor won't be alone. If things go south, I think this is how you say it, if it gets worse... Uh, Jed will be here, Steph will be here, Ryan will be here, and then we can tell Riley, look, Eleanor's not feeling fine, I will be here too, Eleanor's not feeling fine, uh, come back this weekend. Like, I think that Riley should know, but Eleanor should be the one to tell her, because Eleanor is keeping this a secret for a reason, she doesn't want uh, Riley to completely give up on her dream I would keep Eleanor's secret Eleanor is so proud of you all she wants is for you to follow your dreams you're right of course good luck with everything we're rooting for you Riley's so gonna hate me if she finds out thanks Alex have a great time at the festival. Okay, but what sort of effect does this important choice have? Because I could have not talked to Riley at all if I had decided to not come here. So, would she have left? I mean, would she have left still? Is this dying? No, she's not. It's not dying. But she has still left, and the fact that we did not talk to her would have consequences. I think about everything. It's just okay. Where is Mac? I want to talk to Mac, and I want to give Steph a rose. And I don't remember where the park is. World closed. We haven't seen Charlotte's too. She's not coming to the festival. Okay, I think that's where it is. Um, but I'm guessing Mac is kind of hiding somewhere. Like he, he feels like no one's want to see him, so. Am I supposed to talk to Mac now? That's the miner. But she said I should tell Mac. So. What are you so happy about? Been a while since I've seen you smile like that. It's that cake. That dragon shaped ice cream cake. I feel like something clicked as soon as we thought of it. As soon as you thought of it. I can't stop thinking about it. 
Could we do a castle-shaped cake box? Yeah, yeah, that's good. But what if we did little swords instead of serving knives? Oh my god, we could do a LARP, like ourselves, as a promotion. Ooh, what if we called our loyalty program Experience Points? Okay, stick with me for a minute. Full fantasy rebrand. Forget the avalanche thing, dragons hoard ice cream. I fucking love you. Right fucking back at you. <laughs> We're ice cream geniuses. We run this shit. Keep flexing, ice cream lady. Okay, Mac, please. Reiner. Can I find Mac somewhere? This can wait for now, but I should give it away before the music starts. The Rose Gauntlet! Mac! Hey! Haven't seen Mac in a while. He seems no better off than before. He seems drunk. I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down, the whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. See, it's the thing. This whole town needs Typhon. Yes, he can do better, like, when you think of it, you can always do better. But can him? Like, you know, if he quits his job now, can he find another one? And one that will pay him enough? And can he afford to maybe leave town? Because he's gonna... You know, it's that thing, like... You can't do, you can't do anything. Yeah, when you think of it, you can do anything. But can you? You know what I mean? I, I don't know if I'm being... Like... The possibility of being able to do anything you want is still a privilege because, you know, money, a roof above your head, those sort of things. So, yeah, as a man, as a human being, he can do better, but he, he also needs to live, you know, to pay his bills. Be careful. I guess I can't blame you. Money's money. Just keep your guard up, okay? It's always flattering to see how much you care about me. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. There's the Mac I know. <laughs> Riley easy, is a dude. bitter. Yeah. Sorry. You too. Okay, can you talk again? Okay. Riley deserved better. You were a shitty boyfriend. But in this situation, it was not your fault. Man, Haven really parties at this festival, huh? Okay. I want to give Steph my rose before I talk to Ryan. Where is Steph now? Doing this takes a certain type of person. And I am not that person. Yep, me neither. Steph, where are you, my love? Oh, let's talk to Ryan. Okay. I should give my rose to Steph or Ryan before the show. Yes. Where is Steph? Steph, my, my love, I'm looking for you. Where are you? There she is. You were there all this time. Steph is just awesome. Maybe I could give a rose to her. Yes. Hey, Steph. <laughs> You're gonna give her the rose live? Yep. 
we're doing so. Ooh, this is so cute. This is for you. Okay. Are you serious? Yes. Of course I am. Dude. Thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. They are so cute together. Okay. Let's go for it. Hey. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? Oh, no. Oh no! Oh Steph. no! Who else is playing? Oh no! I hate you both. <laughs> we didn't want you to wuss out. Oh, that's mean. No, that's mean. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. Sorry, I was drinking. This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. This is mean. No, you can't do that. I would shit my pants. Um. We've never played together before, and. Uh... Oh. Anyway. Sorry if this sucks. And some copyrighted music, I'm pretty sure. Fuck it. Yep. No music. This seems like... This seems cool. Yeah. I just love how there's no music, but there's still like the talking and the bonfire. <laughs> By the way, I tuned out the copyrighted music, as I've been saying several times now, but my videos are still receiving claims for um, copyright so I don't know how that works because I thought the you know the background music that we hear sometimes was not copyrighted because that's the whole point of turning the settings down you know anyway enabling the settings apparently it was cool it was good I'll check it out on, on YouTube at some point. All this music that we miss. Uh-oh, what's going on? Charlotte! Okay, I feel like... Did we make some sort of zombie out of her? Like... Okay, if you could hey, not jump, that Charlotte. would be great. How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. 
I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. But now... It's like when your leg falls asleep. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply. But maybe this is better? Charlotte, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Mm. Me neither. Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the roof. I didn't touch anything. Calm down. Come on, meet up on a rooftop. Sure thing. Top. Okay, so we're not gonna talk about what just happened with Charlotte. She looks like a little zombie. I think we kind of stop her grieving process or something like that, you know? Uh, where is it? Here. I think we kind of took all of our emotions away or something like that. But she did not process her anger. I mean, I think we fucked up. Let's be honest. We fucked up. Ugh. Not tonight. Okay, let's take a look everywhere. What about acute emotional kleptomania? Excellent treatment. Uh, Dr. Lathrop's tonic, excellent treatment for snake bite, tick and fleas, wounds, mental disorder, blebs, senility, ablutophobia. I don't know what ablutophobia is. Odds are pretty good. I'm grabbing a cup later tonight. Jed bought this as a treat for the regulars. And himself, I'm guessing. Copper McConaughey, Reserve Kentucky Straight Bourbon uh, Whiskey. Well played, kitchen staff. Plain hamburger, cut me some slack, spring fest tonight. Oh, he kept the crown. It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. Jukebox. I love this oversized iPod. <laughs> Notice. Mandatory night off. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, let's go a bit there. Let's see. Hey, you can't tell me what to do. Drink Flynn's beer. Can't tell me what to do. Okay. Eleanor is like a mafia boss. Except instead of crime, she spreads flowers. Sometimes there are stuff over there. Come on, son, get it over with. <laughs> I, I don't want to get sick. You're gonna feel a whole lot better after you do. <laughs> I'm gonna die, Dad! <laughs> not tonight, you're not, birthday boy. Although I suspect you're gonna wish you had tomorrow morning. Yep. Had a boy. Well, oof, I'm never drinking again. Yeah, that's what you guys all say. Ducky! What are you doing here alone? I guess Ducky's not the festival type. 
It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha. Sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. It's his daughter, I think. Hey, Ducky. Oh. But who's Tabitha? Like that? We're just going straight into it? That's me. No, you should have- Do you want to talk about her? Oh. You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Ducky. Okay. There's got to be more I can do for Ducky. Yes, we're helping Ducky. I hope. Where's the little hay? Okay, sorry. Ducky. He's nice. He's like a boomer grandpa. Ducky, let's go for it. Okay, we have the okay. bear. Okay. Tell me what I need to know to help him. Just the bear? Okay. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Oh. So not his daughter. You know, I carved that myself. Okay. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Okay, so... Tabitha... His wife or his girlfriend? Because I know there's something with his daughter. Wait, wait. Don't drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you... Uh, oh, Ducky. It's beautiful. Tabitha Baker. Oh. Will you marry me? Okay, so Tabitha was his wife, although... We don't know if she said yes. Happy anniversary, love. Okay, so it's here's be. to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. Alright, so Tabitha's gone. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. Okay, so I'm guessing his... his wife died. That's it, I can't go see more. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest? That's right. <laughs> Did you actually carve that wooden bear? Grana? Sure did. That was a long time ago. Give me one sec. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. How did you... They're playing your song. Let's dance. I feel like I cut it short. So I can leave the scene. This is gonna be like they're not gonna talk or anything. Sometimes 
You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. That was Tabs. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. Oh, I didn't know it would cut it short. I thought that Tabitha, the choice Tabitha, was going to cut it short. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. We don't have the whole interaction. Let's keep going. But we Go have Ducky. Marmots. What's a Go. marmot again? Marmots. But we help Ducky. Okay, now we've seen it all. So let's go see Steph on the rooftop and her big news better be kissing me. Or I'll be pissed. You said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> no, I'm happy for you. I want to stay with you forever, but I am a supportive girlfriend okay so happy Holy for you shit Steph that's so cool I'm really happy for you you better keep in touch or I could come with you you think it's that easy to get rid of me come on Chen I could come with you I need a new destination you're my good luck charm you have shit taste in good luck charms <laughs> shut up Pick one. Salem, Berlin, Ocean. You know I want to choose Salem. I don't know why, it's the old. Let's go. Salem, Halloween capital of the world. Or so they say. <laughs> Who do I hang out with? Me. You join a coven. A lesbian coven? Yeah. Is there any other kind? <laughs> you hang out in graveyards and perform rituals to speak to the dead. None of which ever work, but that's okay. Because I get a load of old tombstone rubbings to decorate my apartment with. That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. Yes! Yes? To Salem? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there, or I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. She wants to stay in Avon. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. No, you kiss. I'm sorry. I want that kiss since chapter one. Oh, she's nervous. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me.
Yes! Oh my god, she's so tiny. Okay, we got it. And she's happy. They both are happy. Cute and beautiful, I love it. I didn't realize that Steph was that much taller than us, than her, us. You don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. Follow her. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. Okay, so what happens if we choose Ryan? Do we have a discussion with Ryan instead? Or do we still have the discussion with Steph? Hey. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I thought she was not gonna talk. Oh, I always do that. I hate myself right now. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm pissed, too. Alright. Alex. Do you have the USB drive? We better have made copy because I don't trust him. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. Yeah, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. We are in big trouble because he's on their side. I am sure of it. I am sure of it. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? How about a beer? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're uh, actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. That's not bullshit, we stole it. What the hell are you talking about? You told her? You told Diane I Did had you steal it? this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. Yay, order from who? 
The order came down today from who? You won't tell High me. up. Bosses, bosses, boss. It's not my job to know. Okay, so... Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. In what condition? I shut the fuck up? If you agree to drop everything, <laughs> okay. Typhon won't press any charges. I can't read why the deal doesn't she doesn't this mean she's guilty? She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. Okay, he's kind of on her side. Um, our side, like, he's just following the law. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Oh, yeah, I didn't want Alex, to have no. a choice. Typhon okay. buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Uh-huh. You're interested. Another blast, unannounced set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Come on, risk your job for us. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Mm. Alex, please, just sign the form. And we can both go back to the party. No, I'm no. Not. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. You know something I don't. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? A deal. Just like they offered Charlotte. Fuck me. All right. Typhon Mining Company, hereby referred to as Realtor, agrees to drop all charges against Alexandra Chen, hereby referred as the C, charge to be dropped, federal count computer fraud, state count thief under, in exchange to the release, must seize and desist, all effort to defame, surveil, or otherwise arm the releaser. Okay, so we shut the fuck up forever. Typhon Mining Security, Threat Evolution, Subject Shen Alexandra, Anti-Typhon Sentiment, Brother Gabriel Chen, Died in an Accident Related to Typhon Mining Blast, Assessment Intel, Shows Suspect as a High Level of Determination and Efficacy, Negative Infection as Persisted Beyond Predicted Bereavement Period, Suspect also appeared to have possession of confidential data and information, Threat Priority 1, Immediate Action Required. I don't get it. Okay. 
private investigation service. We have a private detective behind us. Okay. Begin following subject after meeting with Mac Loudon. Subject met with men identified as Rain Lucan. Little s of note. Subject spent three hours in apartment. Wi-Fi screen monitoring revealed searches into Typhon history and legal litigation records. Subject met and spoke with client in the Black Lantern. The subject has stolen an object from client. Okay. Uh, sorry, next assessment. Assist action with her effort against Typhoon involved okay so that's putting Ryan in danger and I guess the next one is Steph involved in an extremely distraught of accident subject as high level knowledge of both green okay Stephanie Green Jean Grinch close friend Gabriel Chan then just an action in her effort okay so basically we're all in the dipshit I'm putting them is in danger what did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Let's do it. Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck! Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex, be careful. All right. That was not the smartest idea, but it was the best idea in my book. Let's see what happens next. I hope Steph doesn't hate us. The fact that we did this doesn't doesn't mean she won't want us to go with her on the road.
on the road again. Come see me when you get the chance, okay? It's from Jed. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. I feel like Jed doesn't have any good news. Like Typhon is- First, I need to get out of this dress. <laughs> Typhon is threatening him and he's gonna throw, it, throw us out. He's like, if you don't throw it out, we're gonna close the lantern and burn heaven. Huh? Huh? Okay. All right, let's go around and change clothes. Ducky, hope he's doing okay. Riley probably can't help me hack Typhon. Okay, at least Riley is not in trouble. Looks like I'm on my own now. I don't want to drag Ryan and Stefan any deeper. Yeah, I get it. Yep, the tables seem to have turned, all right. This isn't over, Gabe. I promise. Okay. Not the pants, all right. That's the postcard of Salem. Can you? I guess the night wasn't all bad. Yeah, well, I mean, a kiss and being threatened to 10 years in prison. I don't, I don't know if this is if you can compare that. Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. Yeah, right. I look better than I feel. Okay. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Can I still choose? I look better than I feel. Okay. All right. You look comfy. The guitar. I think I'm all played out for tonight. She can still do puns and dad's jokes, so... Maybe I'll just bike out to the mine. Dig up some answers myself. Maybe you should. Feels like the LARP was a hundred years ago. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Really doesn't sound good. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And <laughs> let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. <laughs> I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? 
Typhon killed Gabe, take a shot, Typhon threatened Ryan. Typhon killed Gabe. Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Ooh, I was scared. I thought he was gonna say something like... Okay. I thought it was gonna be like, drop everything, or you're being stupid, and we would have find out that... Um, that it was against us, at, at least in this Typhon matter. What is it? Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Can you tell Typhon's us? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. Yeah, you know the mines. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> Ooh, I was really scared that Jed was not going to be on our side. That silence was so deadly. <laughs> I was like, fuck, say something, please. Don't betray us. There, up ahead. So we're going to the mines just like that? Okay. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. Clicks. I don't know what clicks means. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. <coughs> Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Am I gonna go in there alone? Is Jed trying to kill me? Is he gonna push me in that hole? Jed... Why are you sad? <gasps> oh, fuck it! Mm. Not Jed! I'm sorry, kid. No. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God. Jed. What are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. I trusted you. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. Jed. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. That's how it ends! I'm so, no! I'm so pissed! I'm so frustrated! No! No, not Jed! I trusted Jed! With all my heart! I honest, honestly thought that 
um, Sp uh, Spike, not Spike. Pike was the one who was going to betray us. Not Jed. Jed, you were like a father to me. No. No. I'm pissed. No. No. This episode seems to have been shorter than the others. I don't know. Okay, so now that we are sad and angry and that we want to kill Jed, even though we loved him with our dear hearts. All right. Pike let Alex go after she, she removed his fear. Pike convinced to send the affidavit, of course. So, Alex gave her roses to Steph. Okay. So you can decide to not give any Alex, okay, any, any rose to anyone. Okay, Alex had a nice moment at bonfire. Alex didn't sit on the couch. Oh, I missed the couch, okay. Oh, I can decide to not meet him, meet her on the rooftop. Okay, so Alex and Steph mustered about moving to Salem. We shared a kiss. We shared... We didn't share rug or we didn't go. A lot of people didn't go. Oh, because you went to Ryan, I guess. Uh, okay, so if we decided to go with Ryan, we would have talked about working on the record store because I guess Steph would be gone still. So we can dis we can either like talk about talk with Steph about going or talk with Ryan about staying and work together. We didn't meet. So, okay, so we didn't share a kiss or a hug. I'm gonna sneeze. Wait a second. All right, I sneezed. Okay. Alex and Charlotte shared a bittersweet moment in the festival. We shared detached at the festival. Uh, Charlotte felt really detached at the festival. Okay, so that's... That's, um... Because we took her anger. Riley went away to college. Okay, so we let her go. Riley revealed, uh, Alex revealed Eleanor's illness and decided to stay. And Riley decided to stay. Riley had already decided not to go to school or we didn't find Riley. Most people didn't find Riley. Okay. Ducky joined the festival after dancing with Alex. Most people did not use um, Alex's power with Ducky. Alex helped with the bean count the jelly bean counter, okay. I help the diner buyer and I didn't help guy and girlfriends together. Oh, but I talked to them. How could I have helped them? Oh shit. Okay, so I missed that. So we are of course fucking disappointed. I'm Ugh! Jed, not Jed. I am pissed. Okay, I want to start playing episode the next chapter right now, but I don't know if I have enough battery in my switch to do so. Okay, so I am sad. Um, thank you for watching this sad episode, and um. I hope you're gonna watch the next sad episode next time. I'm sad. We're all sad. Jed, we believed in you. We were rooting for you. I was rooting for you. You turned out to be the asshole. I thought Pike was gonna be the asshole. Fuck it. I'm pissed. I'm gonna play the next chapter. Alright, see you next time. Bye.